Dear Log, sorry it's been a while since I made my last entry. Because I've been spending most of my time trying to stay alive. You see, I've been adopted by the strangest people I could ever meet. First, there's Shrike, who I don't think I'll ever understand. He has no tactile sense at all, doesn't think things through, he's just stupid. He also has guns and a critter living in his head. Next, there's BB. He's the total opposite of Shrike, being a bit slow, though he's quite the brute. And finally, there's Minnie Mel. She's the same age as me, smarter than me, and yet she chooses to act with party. These guys get into trouble like nobody's business. And yet, being with them feels homely. Whoops. Sorry, I really have no idea how he survived so far. Especially with that thing around! It could blow us up! Leave baby alone. He need no harm. Uh, he just killed your pizza! And he did interfere with your Coliseum match. Oh, that mm. reminds me. Look what came in that space force. <laughs> it's our semi-final trophy from Silvermine. I wonder how much it did sell for. You can't sell it. I've read about the Crystal Silvermine used for their rewards. Apparently, it's incredibly rare. Then we should sell it. You're not huh? selling it. Uh. I'm going to study it and see what properties this baby has. And Sarge, wouldn't you want to keep it? You know, to show that we've done something worthy of merit. Ah, fine. But we really need some money. Well, if you didn't spend it on pizza, we wouldn't be so broke. Hey, I need that pizza. It fuels me rage. Whatever. Just pray we get something soon. I'm off to bed. You need to unwind, amigo. Why not give Mel a nice long snuggle? Ah! I wish you took things more seriously. Uh. <laughs> well, I'm off to later, Beavers. Later, Beobara. And I will always love you. for the head. Boy, Shrek Land! See your bitch not in a conundrum! <laughs> Beans, do you recognize that planet? Uh, ooh, birdie! Look at all that boring brown! Reminds me of a camel I knew once. <laughs> he gave me the hump! <laughs> that, that's planet Earth. Huh? Earth is the third planet in the solar system world of the humans. Uh, a few decades ago, they reached the singularity, which devastated the planet and population. 88% oh, yeah. of the landmass has been reduced to desert, and its oceans are heavily polluted. You know that because... I wow. I'm picking up hundreds of bodies on the scanners. And I know this stuff because I used to live here. Well, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> 
B, huh? get us out of here. Won't it be odd with our engines over there? Yeah! Egg face. No! And now gravity's pulling us towards the planet. Beads, we got thrusters? Nope. Afterburners? Nothing. Gravity tether? Broke up with the engines. Huh? <laughs> All right then, amigos. Fasten your seat belts. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Brace yourselves, amigos! Man, what a ride! Here, Mara? Huh? Uh, problem officer? No, they don't appear to be artificials. And that spiky headed one took out a whole squad of them on his own. Yeah, they crashed into one of the checkpoints we were going to assault. Mm -hmm. You sure? We need all the people we can get for our cause. And the fact that he took them out so easily, he'd be a great asset. Sure. If he declines, we'll release him. No point in holding him here, as we'd be doing just what the Arties want. Roger that, sir. Hey, Amiga! Oh, you're awake. Who the hell are you? And why am I in this sleeping bag? Whoa, steady on, spiky guy. My name's Anna. Sorry for shocking you back there, but I had to protect myself and my squad. You were going kind of nuts. Those friend guys were your amigos? No, nope. those were the enemy. Enemy? Yes. To cut a long story short, we're at war and I'm looking for people to join our cause. Yes, amiga. Wow, you wouldn't mind? At all? Why not? And both is hell and we're looking for work anywho. Also, for me state me ship, I doubt we'd be leaving any time soon. That was easy. For your help, I guess we could repair your ship, since we don't have much money to actually pay you with. Sure, why not? Alrighty then. I'll take you to your other two crew members we recovered. It'll be easier to brief you on the situation once you're all together. Wait, only two? Yeah, a big fat guy and a kid with glasses. How come? God damn it, man! 